Now, our planet has a bit of a waste problem. Each year, at least 200 million tons of raw sewage goes untreated. This is an environmental and health crisis. But one enterprising startup in Kenya is turning all that waste into fuel. VOA's Kevin Enox has more. This is a tiny bit of the millions of tons of raw sewage the United Nations says goes untreated every year. But here, at this Kenya startup, after being dried, carbonized, and mixed with sawdust and molasses, it's getting a new life. Carbonization basically is a process whereby you increase the carbon content of your materials. In this case, we are using the drum kiln. The sludge is fed, the drum has some holes at the bottom. These holes allow the oxygen to come in in a controlled manner. That oxygen will only support combustion, but to a certain level, so that it doesn't burn completely into ash. Little by little, what was human waste gets turned into fuel. It's not only cheaper, but also more environmentally friendly than charcoal. In this way, you are able to eliminate all the volatile matters, all the harmful gases, and it, it is at this point that you ensure that your sludge doesn't smell. It's safe for hardly uh, when you are, doing, you are carrying out the other uh, processes, which is milling and uh, briquette production. The finished briquettes burn better and cleaner than charcoal. The only challenge is convincing people that it's okay to use them. That's not an easy sell, but the low-tech company has some lofty goals and they're making progress and ramping up production. The output capacity of the carbonization machine, we are targeting at least 10 tons per day, which then will be processed in trout-shaped briquettes. A kilo of briquettes sells for about 50 cents, cheaper than charcoal. The project is getting a ton of international support. And let's be honest, there's no shortage of raw material. Kevin Enix, VOA News.